president, several vice presidents, department heads, plant managers, and supervisory personnel. They are all managers. Since they are all engaged in combining human and other resources to achieve company objectives, they are all managers. The various levels of management form a management pyramid or hierarchy in an organization. A firm's uh, management can be divided into three categories that is top management, middle management and supervisory management. Although all three categories contain managers, each level of the pyramid stresses different activities. Now we we'll discuss about uh, the top management. Top management, the highest level of management pyramid is uh, composed of the president and other key company executives. These people devote their time to develop long-range plan for the company. They make broad decisions such as, uh, such as uh, where to manufacture a new product, to purchase other companies or to begin international operations. A considerable amount of their time is directed to outside activities involving government and community affairs. Next, the middle management. The second level of the management pyramid includes such executives as plant managers and department heads. Middle management is more involved than top management in specific operations with the organization. Middle managers are responsible for developing detailed plans and procedures to implement the gender plans of top management. They may, for example, determine the number of uh, salespeople for a particular territory, operate a branch of department store chain, select equipment for a new facility, or develop techniques for enhancing employee performance. Then uh, the supervisory management, that is the third level of the management pyramid, includes people who are directly responsible for details of assigning workers to specific jobs and evaluating daily and sometimes hourly performance. They are in direct and continuing contact with the production personnel and are uh, responsible for putting into action the plans developed by middle management. At any level, managers need certain skills, including the ability to work in a team, the ability to formulate and carry out long-range plans, the courage to take risks, and the ability to get on well with others in order to succeed. One important skill that is often forgotten is the ability to manage and communicate with one's own supervisor as well as one's subordinates. A, manager, a manager's immediate boss links the manager to the rest of the organization. Lack of some of these abilities often prevents uh, people from moving up the manager ladder. Log on to my website www.asifjme.com Also visit asifjme.wordpress.com Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day.